All right, Shalom, Shalom. I'm going to start saying all praise and glory due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash. Uh, double honors to our positive elders, great millstone. Salutation to you, hopeful elect out there teaching the word, truth, and sincerity. All right, uh, I'm the brother Omar. Come back at you with another video. And uh, real quick, this will be concerning um, the towns that we're entering in and um, pretty much what they're going to do uh, to, uh, you know, the men of the Lord. All right. Because I did a video not too long ago, a couple weeks back, about. Um, about how the, the servant is not above his master, all right. Uh, pretty much, uh, this is it's in the same chapter as, Ma uh, as this uh, Matthew's the 10th chapter, but I was going to be highlighting a few other verses in the chapter because, like I said, the times that we're entering into, um, you know, we will go through some uh, perilous times, and, uh, and um, uh, there, there's, there's pretty much, um, there's, there's no way out of this, you know what I mean? There's, uh, because you, the scriptures talk about the straight gate, and, uh, pretty much the straight gate is, um, the straight gate is coming, coming, um, you know, um, coming in the truth, uh, and coming to Yahweh Bashim Yahshua with a sincere and honest heart, and, uh, facing, uh, you know, the trials and tribulations that the scriptures speak about concerning prophecy, all right, whether that be good or bad, man, all right, um, you know, and obviously teaching it in, 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 in truth and sincerity in the correct uh, correct way and following y'all by Shem Yosha and um, where this, so wherever he goeth. But um, without further ado, man, let me just get into it, man. Um, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 17. It says, uh, But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And this is going to get ready to happen soon. You know what I mean? Probably sooner than we think. Um... It says, and ye shall be brought before governors and kings uh, for my sake. It says, uh, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. And uh, this is exactly what's about to get ready to happen, man. All right. And the modern day kings and governors and stuff like that are your prime ministers, uh, your presidents, of course. You know what I mean? Uh, people in high political uh, uh, powers. You know what I mean? And, and po high political seats, man. All right, so we're going to be brought before all of them, man. All right, and then the way the way Esau got it set up nowadays is he might just broadcast it throughout the, you know, throughout the world, you know what I mean, via the internet, um, you know, television, radio, so forth and so on. So we're going to be made... <sighs> oh, excuse me. We're going to be pretty pretty much made uh, outcasts of the world. And um, that's what the scriptures say. The scriptures say, marvel not if you hate it uh, for my name's sake, man. Or as that scripture say, it's like you marvel not if the world hate you. Because um, here it is, we're, we're righteous men, you know what I mean? Or men, that's not going to say we're righteous men. But we're men um, uh, 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 trying uh, uh, to be to live righteously in a wicked society, man. Everything around us is pretty much uh, wicked as hell. And um, uh, uh, you, you trying to do the right thing in a wicked society is not going to work. So... Of course, they're going to make you an outcast, and they're going to make you seem crazy, all right, and they're going to, um, they're just pretty much demonize you, all right, and you can look up this term called assassination of character, or character assassination, all right, that's, that's pretty much what they're doing, but, um, this is verse uh, 18, he shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, it says, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles, but when they deliver you up, take no thought, it says, how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what you shall speak, man. And that's 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 some um that's some encouraging uh you know um you know words y'all about Shemel Shah has left behind for us to uh, take heed to, man. Because you know what I mean uh one of the things that you know we all get caught up on you know what I mean uh and I say us I'm talking about you know the brothers in this truth and the believers uh, one of the things we get caught up on is um you know thinking about what's going to happen to us in that day. Yeah, you know I mean, what will the scripture say? It, it says, "Take no thought." You know what I mean? I'm gonna read it again, Matthew 10 and 19. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour where ye shall speak, man. And you know what I mean? And you, it's like at the end of the day, we don't know what we're gonna do, what we're gonna say. The only thing we can do and leave it, and, and the only thing we can say and do is just leave it up to you. I'll him out shot and pray he give it, give us um. You know his spirit to uh, speak and and, and and do what is necessary to be delivered in that day, or or on the flip side, you know what I mean? Because scriptures speak about martyrs. If we have to, you know, perish, you know what I mean, for the for the name of Yahweh by Shimei Shah, you know what I mean. At the end of the day, you know what, what what better way what what other way can you think about going out, man? You know what I mean? 
what other way can you think about dying for something as righteous and, and as um uh, as glorious as this, man? You know what I mean? On 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 the battlefield, um, if a if a soldier or a man of war has fought, you know what I mean, for X amount of years, and he that's pretty much all he know, he will tell you quickly. You know what I mean? Uh, um, you know what I mean? There's pretty much no other place he will, he you know he would want to die at, man, because that's where he you know that's what he knows, man. That's what he lives, breathes, eat and uh, and sleep, man. All right. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty much, you know, you know, uh, on the battlefield, man. So our battlefield is, uh, you know, I mean, obviously, um, you know, going out there teaching his word and, you know, dealing in these scriptures, man. So if we do have to go, you know what I mean, Lord willing, you know what I mean, it's, it's for Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. It's not for no wicked, it's not for nothing wicked, man. We ain't, we ain't dying in vain, so to speak. Just like Yahweh Shah, he didn't die in vain. Lord willing, we don't die in vain, man. So if we do got to perish, then so be it, man. But, um... Let me, uh, let me go down real quick, man. This is uh, verse 26. It says, Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered uh, that shall not be revealed, and hid that shall not be known. And ultimately, this is the reason why they're going to try to put us to death, man, because we're revealing these secrets, man. And the number one secret is uh, who, uh, who, the, uh, who, the, who the world calls God and Jesus are, all right, um, which is Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and their so-called black men, all right. And, 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 and second is uh, who the children of Israel are. All right, and who, uh, and thirdly, who is Esau, man? Which Esau is the, the so-called white man, the biblical uh, Edomites, man, the Caucasians. That's their true nationality, is uh, are Edomites, man. They descend from a man named Edom, um, and uh, or Esau, should I say? All right. So that that's everything that's being revealed. Everything that was covered is being revealed, and Esau, Edom, is getting mad at us for doing so, and for that, he's gonna he's gonna uh, bring us up to the um, you know, to the to the judgment seat, man. To these kings, to these princes, what I read previously in the 18th verse, man. But that's okay, man. That's okay because we understand that, we're, you know, we're being persecuted for righteousness sake, man. Not for wickedness, man. All right, this is verse 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. For us says, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. So, yeah, man. You you know, if anything, you're supposed to, uh, you ain't supposed to fear them. You're supposed to fear y'all by Shemiel Shah. And ultimately realize that he is control. He is in control of everything. And when I say everything, I do mean everything, even death itself, man. Because the, the scriptures even talk about how the Lord uh, got a victory over the devil. All right, he got he got victory over the devil, man. All right. It, like I said, this is um. Just want to see real quick. I believe this is that that chapter. Might be the third one. Yeah. Yeah, this is it, man. All right, when you read verse 8 and 9, all right, the Lord the Lord got the victory over the, uh, over uh, over Satan, man. Over Satan. All right, over the devil himself, man. So we're going to get the victory over his physical counterpart, man. All right, which is Esau Edom, man. So, you know, Akim, just, just pay attention to what's going on, man, and stay focused on the prophecies and stay focused on, on what the Lord said concerning, you know, uh, um, our lot, man. All right, which is potential men of the Lord and how we're going to get saved, man. All right, you know, even though we do speak about death a lot, how death is coming, salvation is also coming as as well. And what we have to do is just uh, stay focused on the mission. All right, which is continue waking up the the, the Lord's elect if they're not already, already awoke, and uh, just continue pushing His word and um until the Lord comes back, man. All right, and I got this last um this last verse. Uh, this is uh, Sirach uh, chapter forty one verse um verse three. All right, it says, "A fear, a fear not the sentence of death." It says, "Remember, remember them that have been before you, before thee, and that it says, and that came after. For this is the sentence of the Lord over all flesh, man. All right. So yeah, man. Don't, you know what I mean? Don't just just remember, um, you know what I mean? How the Lord conquered uh, death, man. All right. And don't stray away from, uh, you know what I mean? Being put to death for a righteous cause, man. So when they do deliver us up, man, like the scripture say, take no thought." You know what I mean, what you gonna say or speak, you know what I mean? For it's gonna be given to us in that very hour, man. And just remember that if we do die, hey, you know what I mean, ultimately death doesn't exist. You know what I mean? It's 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 um we're just transcending from this life um to another, man, which is you know the spiritual realm. But then Lord willing, the scriptures talk about how we gonna uh, the first ones that die, they're gonna come back, man. All right, on those chariots, man. Let me see if I can get that. Uh, what is it? Uh, it says, uh, Elijah remain caught up. 
Beat them in the clouds to be a Uh. I thought that was it, and uh, oh yeah, here we go. Uh, yeah, first, uh, first Thessalonians four, um, or sixteen. For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a cloud, with the voice of an archangel. It says, and with the trump, trump of Yahweh, and the dead and Mashiach shall rise first, man. So yeah, the the ones that perish on this on this side, they will be the first ones to get raised up in the, on the on the chariots to come back with Yahweh with Yahweh Shai. And a new and remote to and destroy this place, man. So, like I said, man, just focus on the victory, man. And uh, Lord willing, if death do present itself, we be prepared, man. With that, I'm gonna say shalom in the Bible ball.